Hi, welcome from Belgrade here, Paxa Rubiana, Günther speaking. I wanna now call for the destruction of the Crimean Kerch bridge and that's uh, I think the right thing to do. We should destroy this bridge as a symbol against uh, Putin's war against Ukraine. Here I'm in Belgrade and this is one of the bridges NATO has destroyed uh, in the 99 war for liberation of the Balkans where also Serbia was liberated from uh, Milosevic. Uh, it took one more year until the uh, population toppled him but it was the starting point and it should be the same. The bridge over the Crimea, to the, over the Kerch bridge, has never been legal. It is in international territory and for sure in Ukrainian territory legally. And it can be, with the consent of the Ukrainian government, be destroyed by NATO cruise missiles. And it should be destroyed. And this should be the visible um, symbol for um, Russia that uh, they cannot do everything they want, but there is a, a red line. And the red line is this bridge. It must be destroyed. And it can be then re rebuilt obviously it will be rebuilt and with european taxpayers money like everything russia has destroyed and will also which has destroyed and which was necessary to be destroyed in the removal of such dictators and it will be rebuilt but now it has to go and as you see now the bridge is uh, there again there is more bridges here in belgrade you see the northern part here towards the danube and you see here this is actually belgrade at the waterfront now the city is very modern a lot of international investments a lot of european reconstruction and a lot of effort 20 years 22 years now after 23 years after the nato the start of the nato uh, liberation of um, it was actually in may then when they were bombing belgrade as well in order to stop the war and I'm not calling for bombing Moscow, don't worry, I'm rational, rational. but this bridge is uh, not uh, dangerous. There can be no nuclear war for a bridge and uh, this bridge in over the Kerch at the Crimea must go and um, then everything will be rebuilt once the war is stopped. Yeah. But to stop the war you need to confront Putin and not to appease him. You cannot just let him go on for half a year, one year and without stopping him. And stopping him must be the oil embargo, must be the bridge gone, must be a ship in the Black Sea torpedoed uh, by a um, torpedo which can be given to the Ukrainians uh, to have no direct involvement. Also the um, uh, the um, uh, cruise missiles uh, which are necessary to destroy the Kerch bridge can be given to the Ukrainians. We give them so many weapons already. Why not give them the appropriate uh, support uh, to also themselves to destroy this bridge which is illegal on that territory. They can destroy that bridge if NATO doesn't want to do it themselves. But that's their best policy now to stop this terrible war and I call for that. And I call from here from Belgrade also for Belgrade to join NATO to support Ukraine and uh, to see also Belgrade as a symbol even after such terrible um, things that happened by Milosevic and um, then also necessary to contain him by bombing Belgrade. The city is now very vibrant and reconstructed. Even when the people still uh, have this uh, strange uh, understanding, uh, like um, <laughs> I have compared it many times to the Austrians in 45, but nevertheless, yeah, it is uh, the possible to reconstruct and that should be done. Okay, thanks a lot. More to come from Paxa Rubiana. Bye.